is my Rotovelo from 2011 and I'm going to try to give you a visual of what my pedal assist and Velo setup looks like. So this is a close-up I hope <laughs> of the um, axle protector, silver thing that is protecting the cord coming out of there and how it goes in through the back of the bike. And you can see that the size of the motor is uh, delightfully small. It weighs about seven pounds. So this is the setup for the battery. These are Velcro strips. Uh, a strip here to hold this so it doesn't get in the way, and it goes in a U-form, so right along the side of the um, wheel well, rear wheel well. And you can see the controller back here, and uh, something I mentioned in the printed form of my insulation guide. This holds the Anderson clip, crude but effective. And you can see the uh, connector box down below um, that um, houses the connectors off the motor. This holds the straps to the, uh, my battery, and I'll put that in now. So this is with the battery slipped inside there with the Velcro straps around the body of it. The handle is held by um, a carabiner and a rope that goes to the back where I put, where I put uh, zip ties between two, well, three nuts that are part of the rear lighting system and uh, the rear lighting system and some hardware I put back there to move the uh, velo around easier. And I can hook all kinds of things to that because they just zip tie through there and they hold on real tight and the hooks just are very convenient. So here is the battery installed from the other, a view from the other side and my elbow rest which is covered with a little bit of uh, absorbent material. It's basically a mouse pad that's black up in this section here, and this is the mouse pad part. And then there's a bit of uh, stout uh, closed cell that makes the triangular ledge to support it. There's one on the other side as well. This is the bag that holds all my little electronics um, and some other little essentials. This is, again, the battery for the internal lights. This bag has all of the wires that are involved with the pedal assist system and this light. And this is the uh, cycle analyst display. And my, for high traffic or emergency use, I have that rather handy Velcro on there. This Velcro is covering the um, Instamorph, which forms the uh, solid part of the rear of the um, cycle analyst, so I could make it at the right angle, and um, both both this way as well as turned toward me, and then more Velcro at the back here to pick up this and my potentiometer. I sure hope this is showing because it's impossible for me to see this on this tiny little screen in the verb. And over here 
is the um, throttle if you want to just cruise along and not pedal. That's the battery for the light, which I haven't really tied down, it's just sort of installed there. I hang my um, sandals from um, Velcro on the side, my brake. And my phone is usually here, but uh, it's being charged upstairs for um, tonight's event. I apparently ran it down too much when I was making some arrangements. This is my MP4 for my entertainment. This is where my water goes. All of this is Velcroed on this with uh, Super Deluxe stuff, which is glued to the back of this fabric, and then the matching uh, pieces that that attach it, another hole I filled from the previous um, PAS system, and the other um, elbow rest. This is the cover that I, that's made out of uh, tent material that I made, just a bit of uh, this tent material that covers all of this other stuff keeps any rain and sprinkles off. I put wire through the edges here so I could keep it, um, give it a little bit more um, body. And this is the cover that I made for my supper core cushion, which is the last word in um, shock absorbing um, comfort on a bike like this with no um, so that's what that looks like. I hope it helps to see the video a little more um, realistically than the photographs in my the written uh, document I made on the Grin Easy uh, PAS. I do have a, it's a 48 volt battery and the wheel is uh, 700 or the motor is 750 watts. Oh, I did forget to tell you that when I moved my mirrors uh, up a bit. It provided another way for me to put zip ties between two things and make a way, having lost the post that I used to hang my helmet on, I now can sneak it under those two zip ties that uh, provide another way of hiding or hanging things when you need to keep them handy.